What is happening guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another quick PS4 tutorial here. So in this video we're going to be covering the new update for the Gold Hen Cheats Manager, version 1.1.0. So this now allows you to install your cheats and your patches completely offline. So if you're somebody who uses your jailbroken PS4 completely offline, if you use an ESP chip for the host, or if you just have, you know, the exploit cached in your browser and you exclusively use your PS4 offline, you'll now be able to actually update your cheats in the Gold Hen Cheats Manager completely offline as well, and of course the patches. And it also provides some other useful functions like the ability to back up your cheats and patches now as well. You can back them up to a USB drive or to the internal hard drive of the PS4. So pretty useful stuff right there. So as you can see here, in the latest release here of Gold Hen Cheats Manager, we've got an option to delete patch settings. We now have support for masked pattern patches for filtering. So this is kind of like a new way of applying patches for your games using a pattern search instead of having to, you know, use static addresses for the patches, which normally that would mean they would have to basically update their patches for each game update that comes out for the game because the addresses change for each update. So they have to create a new patch for each one. Well, this new method of pattern searching means they're just searching for a pattern of bytes in the executable and then patching it when they find the correct location. And they can basically just kind of blanket apply that to the game. So even with new game updates coming out for a game, the existing patches that use the pattern search method should still work for those new updates without the developers having to release a new patch for every update that comes out for the game. So that's pretty handy. We also have a, a new update menu here, which allows you to update the cheats, of course, from the hard drive or the USB. You can update the patches from the hard drive or the USB, and you can also back up, like I said, uh, to a zip file on the USB or the hard drive as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to set this up completely offline, as if we were going to be using these new features just to update the cheats and patches offline. Now, now this new update also includes the latest cheat and patch packs in the actual package file itself. So you won't need to install any new updates straight away. This should be mostly up to date, but but of course, as new patches and cheats come out in the future, you're going to want to be able to update those and you can now do so offline. So that's what we're going to cover here in this video. So let's go ahead and get this set up. OK, so to get set up with everything, first of all, we're going to download the package file for the latest version of the Gold Hen Cheats Manager. And for installing the cheats offline, if we head back to the repository here, Gold Hen Cheats Manager, if we scroll down, we do have a link to the cheat repository and the patch repository where you'll find your cheats and patches that you can then install offline via the USB drive or the hard drive. So if we click on one of these links, we go to the cheats repository first. We can just download the cheats by going to the code and then downloading it as a zip file. And that will basically zip up all of the cheats into a zip file that can be installed with the Gold Hen Cheats Manager. So go ahead and do that. As for the patches, you're going to need to scroll down here and download the patch.zip file. So I'm going to be using a USB installation, so I'll download this one. They're probably the same. So we're just going to go ahead and download the patch.zip from here. And as you can see, I've got them all downloaded right here on my desktop. OK, and as you guys probably know by now, all we're going to do is copy all of that stuff straight to the root of a USB drive. Or, of course, you can copy them if you're wanting to install them from the internal hard drive of the PS4. Then if you have FTP access to your PS4, you can just FTP them over to the gold hen folder in the data folder. You would do that by, of course, just opening up FileZilla here and you would just type in the IP address of your PS4. In my case, I believe it's 109 and then 2121 as the port number. We quick connect and then we go to the data folder. We go to the gold hen folder right here. And then this is where you would copy them. So you would just copy the patch one dot zip and the gold hen cheats repository zip right into this folder. In fact, I'll just do it now anyway. I'll show you how to install them from both. So we'll go ahead and copy them in right there. And then, of course, if you want to install the package file from the hard drive as well, you would just back out into the data folder and then go into the PKG folder here and copy the file right in here for the package. And then you'll be able to install the gold hen cheats manager as well as then install the patches and the cheats directly from the internal hard drive or of course you can copy them to the USB drive here and install them that way as well. So if we're doing that with the USB we'll just go ahead and eject the USB drive here and plug it into our PS4. Okay so switching over to the PS4 of course you're going to want to make sure you're already running the gold hen payload so that you have your PS4 jailbroken. Then we're going to head up to the debug settings 
package installer. And of course, we're going to install the gold hen sheets right here. So of course, I've got the one on the hard drive and the one on the USB showing up. So just install the package file which, wherever you put it on the hard drive or on the USB, select it and install it. And there we go, it is installed right there. And what I'll do is I'll just make sure I turn off the internet now. So I'll make sure I am completely offline uh, so that we can actually test this and install the patches and the cheats completely offline. And we're going to go ahead now and run the Gold Hen Cheats Manager. Okay, so once we actually get into the application, so in the previous versions of the Gold Hen Cheats Manager, if we take a look at the older version, when you select the update option, it should just automatically try and grab the cheats and the patches from the repository online. And the problem with that, of course, is that if you're not online, it just gets stuck. It basically, the loading doesn't go anywhere and it times out and it gives you a download error. And therefore it doesn't allow you to basically install the cheats or the patches offline, uh, which is obviously not great. So with the new version here, if we go to the update option now, we get a few different options here. So we can back up our current sheets and patches to the hard drive or to the USB drive. And then we also have the option here to update the cheats and the patches from the internet like it would normally do when you hit the update option on the older version. But we now also have the option to update the cheats and the patches from the hard drive or the USB drive. So we'll go ahead and we'll select that option right here. And as you can see, we've got update the cheats from the hard drive from the Gold Hen folder under Gold Hen Cheat Repository main.zip. So the zip file name matters. They have to be named correctly. So of course, with the Gold Hen cheats, you just grab the cheats from the source, download from GitHub uh, as a zip file, and then it should be that name. It should give that it should give it that name automatically. Gold Hen cheat repository main.zip. And of course, with the patches, though, you need to make sure you're downloading that patch link because it needs to be called patch onezip in order for the Gold Hen cheats manager to recognize it. So anyway, we'll go ahead and download from the USB drive here. So we'll update cheats from USB, select that option. It extracts it from the USB drive, successfully installed offline cheat data. And there we go, we can click OK. And then of course we can do the same thing for the patches. Successfully installed offline patch data from the USB drive, click OK. And there we go, it's successfully installed it. And of course we could do the same thing from the hard drive as well, since we also put them on the hard drive in this case with FTP. Now, of course, this application does come with the latest patches and cheats already pre-installed up to the point when this update came out, when this update for the Gold Hen Cheats Manager released. But obviously, as time goes on, more and more cheats and patches will be added that, were, that are not currently included in this version. So obviously, if you have an internet connection on your PS4, it's still recommended to use the internet option because it's just going to download the latest version automatically for you and skip the step of having to copy the files over to a USB or to the hard drive and installing them that way. But if you are somebody who uses your PS4 offline or if you find your PS4s offline in a lot of situations, then being able to update the patches this way is a very nice addition right here. And of course, we have the backup option that allows us to back up the cheats and the patches to a zip file. So we can back it up to the hard drive. We'll create the archive for the cheats. And there we go. So it's gh-cheats backup.zip. We got it right there. We can also back it up to the USB drive as well. And that will just take all the cheats and compile it into a zip file and copy it over there to the USB drive. And again, same with the patches. We can back up patches to the hard drive and also to our USB drive. But yeah, that might just be handy if you make your own patches or cheats and you want to back them up so you can install them onto another system. Or if you reset your PS4, you can reinstall your custom patches and cheats. So it's pretty handy to be able to back them up right there as well. Or if you want to back them up so that you can quickly use that backup to restore onto another PS4 instead of downloading from the official repository, you can do all of that stuff as well. And as you can see, if we head to cheats, we now have a good amount of cheats installed, 2029 games supported here. And I can press triangle to filter for just the games that I have installed, which is pretty handy. And then of course we also have the patches as well. We can head over to the patches section and then we can also filter where we've got 306 games supported here with the patches. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you can update the Gold Hen Cheats Manager and get the latest patches and cheats installed if you are offline on your PS4. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.